Welcome to our weekly maritime vlog. I'm Corey Ransom with International Maritime Security Associates. This week, we are going to talk to you guys about a great resource to have on your boat when it comes to cybersecurity. The purpose of our vlogs is to try to provide you guys in the maritime industry, whether you're on a large yacht, on a cargo ship, or on a cruise line, with different information and resources about different topics that are affecting the maritime industry. As you know, over the past few months, we've been talking quite a bit about the IMO 2021 cyber security compliance that's taking place. This affects all commercial vessels. It needs to be integrated into your ISM plan, but most of you guys being in the industry already know this. So there's a number of vlogs that we have on this topic. If you need to familiarize yourself, just look through the library. There's a ton that we've done. Um, we've done some with our partners in different parts of the industry. So we have a lot of educational background on this particular topic. One of the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about today was specifically about a resource that we found that we think is a very, very good resource for shipboard crew members when it comes to looking at your cybersecurity health and vulnerabilities. One of the things that we always recommend, and I start out most of my videos to say this, is when it comes to cybersecurity, we always recommend that you bring in an outside trusted company to assess your cybersecurity vulnerabilities. Don't have your internal IT company um, or anybody internal do that. It really should be an assessment that's conducted by an outside organization. If you have questions about that, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Once you get that assessment done, there's a lot of things things um, as a shipboard crew member, a chief officer, a captain, um, an ETO, or any type of a IT expert that you have on board can take care of. We found a resource, um, and I'm not being paid for this vlog, um, have not been contacted by this organization, but really wanted to highlight a resource. I've spent um, the last probably couple of years looking at different maritime-specific cybersecurity resources, and I found that this book that's been put out by Bimco Klee and a number of other organizations on on shipboard cybersecurity is probably one of the best and easy to, easiest to use resources that we found when it comes to shipboard cybersecurity. The reason that I really like this book is the fact that you can very easily go through this book and it starts out very simple with cybersecurity terms, what these different terms mean, and really starts out with the basics. So if you have a, a basic understanding, this book starts out and will walk you through some of the different types um, of viruses, different types of attacks, the malware, ransomware, phishing attacks, just different terminology that you need to become familiar with. Then the book moves into things that you can do very, very easily from a shipboard basis to help um, with your cybersecurity health on board. So it talks about how do you secure network systems? What are some of the devices available to do that? How do you use a firewall? It talks about passwords and setting up devices and networks on board. A, lo a lot of vessels have this done already, but it's a good idea with this reference and resource for you to be able to go through and take a look at are these systems set up properly? Not Every IT company has a deep understanding and background when it comes to cybersecurity, so it's always another uh, good double check. This book is, um, like I said, is put out by BIMCO. There's a number of places that it's available from. Um, our partners at Blue Water Books and Charts, they have copies of this book, so you can email them, and we'll put the information in the comments section below about that. You can reach out to them. You can order this book directly uh, through them, but this is a book that I would recommend from a maritime cybersecurity perspective that you would carry on board. There's a number of presentations that I've been involved with and some debates about this topic and how far reaching it is. Um, we have also just published an article on our website that we'll have a link to about cybersecurity in the IMO 2021. And the IMO 2021 is not just for vessels, it also affects all the businesses that provide hardware and software to those vessels that they need to make sure that they've done a cybersecurity vulnerability assessment and health checkup so that when they provide these systems to vessels, it's in compliance with the vessel's uh, safety management system and their ISM plan. If you have any questions about this, we'll have our contact details below. We're happy to answer any of, qu any of your questions specific to shipboard and maritime cybersecurity.
Hey, thanks for joining us today. We really appreciate all the viewers that we have on this channel. Make sure you hit that like button for all the videos you like. Subscribe to this channel so you get notified when we post new videos. Also, connect to us through our social media, detailed in the banner above and also in the comments section below. If you have any questions when it comes to maritime security, maritime risk management, or maritime regulatory compliance, don't hesitate to reach out to the experts here at IMSA because we're always happy to steer you in the right direction.